house there. I believe that that used to be where Mixie Walsh used to live. Can hardly see anything. It is pretty dark around here, folks. Street lights aren't working. Look how dark this is. Oh my God. It's another unsafe building. Oh, you're joking. What has happened to that? No wonder they've blocked it all off. That building's falling apart, look at it. You can actually see where the wall is coming out there. Tell you what, it's pretty lively. It started off in a pretty quiet area actually, but now look at it. Oh, nice push. Look at this. I can hear sirens, it's kicking off in Blackpool. It's definitely kicking off in Blackpool now. Welcome to another video of Wolf on the Wild Side and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm in the central area of Blackpool just across the road from Brunswick. Working men's club, yeah? Here on uh, Bethesda Road, I think it is, yeah? Still open, good to see a, a working men's club still open. Probably not the same as what it used to be. There's another club just down the road behind me, back this way. Uh, that was the central club that one's been closed down for years in fact the last time i heard about it was when it was in the news for having a a, a weed grow in it yeah so that happens quite a lot with these empty buildings in blackpool but in this video i want to take a little look around the town it's a saturday night around about nine o'clock the last time i walked around town was on a wednesday middle of the week when it was raining and it was pretty quiet so let's check it out and see what it's like on a saturday night in Blackpool. We'll make our way to the promenade and uh, we'll see how busy it is. Illuminations are on as well so let's go and check it out shall we? So what I thought I'd do is we'd start here at the the Brunswick Working Men's Club. It says up there ground floor room available for hire birthdays funerals weddings and more. There you go, that's the number up there if you want to book a room at the, the Brunswick. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to head down this street here. Now, I'm not really too sure of the name of this road. It's, we're sort of level with uh, Central Drive and this is these are the back streets of Central. Yeah, so as you can see. Quite a lot of terraced houses. Now there's an interesting one just over here. I want to show you this. You see this property here? I think it's an Airbnb. But if you look at the sign, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a sign there. Do you see that? Now then, I think that that building there, I'll turn around and we can see the tower in the background. Look at that. You see that house there? I believe that that used to be where Mixie Walsh used to live. Mixie Walsh was a bit of a hard man, from what I know. I don't know a whole lot myself, probably a bit before my time. But as you can see on the front of that property there, there is. I'm glad the light came on. <laughs> that light was very handy for lighting it up. Yeah, so I believe that that's where Mixie Walsh, the Blackpool gangster, was he a gangster? I don't know if he was a gangster. He was, he was certainly a prominent figure in Blackpool. I'm going back a long time, well before my time. Someone in the comments might know a bit more than me. I'm just coming down this street here, it's called Louise Street, and we've got these, well, we've got these quaint little bungalows. Look at that there, like a little estate here, isn't it, hidden away? And look at that cracking view of the tower. It's a nice quiet little area of Blackpool here hidden away isn't it yeah? But they look like retirement bungalows these don't they? Just over here we've got flats. That's called Princess Court because if I walk down this way we eventually get to Princess Street. I can actually smell grass so it, the council must have been round cutting the grass fairly recently and when I make my way to the promenade 
in the central pier region. I can hear music, I can even hear fireworks. I think the pleasure beach was setting fireworks off. Just going back to Mixie Walsh there, if anyone could let me know in the comments if they've heard of him. And um, I heard a story as well, but um, just a rumour, um, that uh, he actually saw off the Cray twins. He stopped them from coming to Blackpool. Uh, I read that story somewhere. Uh, I think it's, uh, I've, I've also read that it's a myth. So if anyone could let me know in the comments if they've heard of that as well. So this is Princess Street and just over the road there is Bannatine's Fitness Club and just over that way over there is the Old Ordinary Cinema, formerly the Rugby Ground, Borough Park, this, all this area here and just down there, you see down there, that's the Central Club which I was talking about just before. I can see lights on in there on the top floor, oh weird. I wonder if someone's using it for something. Anyway, we'll head underneath this bridge here, underneath the main road, that's Yeadon Way that goes over, not Yeadon Way, Seasiders Way. It's the main road that comes into Blackpool from the motorway, goes past the football ground, changes into Seasiders Way when you get there. So we'll head towards the promenade. Might have a little mooch around some of these these back streets up here as well because we like a walk around the back streets don't we this is the foxhole village just over here the new housing estate which is still still building still on with us i can hear clippity clop i think we've got a land out coming our way oh no it's just turned off Well, I can see the bright lights of the promenade from here. I can see the illuminations already. So just up here, we can see where the, the building, the latest phase of this development here, it's been held up for a long time because the original contractor went bust. So, we'll head up there, shall we? Seems pretty quiet around there, but I've got a funny feeling that when I get up here, just a little bit more, it's going to be quite a bit different because we're going to have all the pubs, the karaoke bars, Foxhall, they're not far away. Uh, these, these footpaths here are quite narrow actually, and there's parking round here. I'll tell you what, it's not great for parking round here. And uh, I'm just wondering whether they've allowed for a lot of parking at these new houses. Uh, this is a new lot of the building here. This road here used to be called Blundell Street. Is it still called Blundell Street? I don't know. I know they've named a lot of these roads after football players for Blackpool. So, yeah, I'd have to check on that. But anyway, as you can see, look, look, this is where the tram tracks used to come. They used to come out of Princess Street and all the way up here to the promenade. I'll tell you what, it's looking a bit dark on this side of the road. Look, I can hardly see anything. It is pretty dark around here, folks. Street lights aren't working. I hope you can see the, I hope you can see something because I'll tell you what, around here, look how dark this is. Oh my goodness. I need to get up here into the light where I can see where I'm walking. But we're now coming out onto Tilsley Road, that's Tilsley Road there on the left. Oh, I can see the bright lights. Can we go down here? Look, we've got a... Uh, it's, it's all blocked off, what's going on here? Don't tell me, oh my God, it's another unsafe building. Oh, you're joking. 
It's joking. So as we look down Dale Street towards Blackpool Tower, we can see that the road has been blocked off to traffic. And just look at this building here. Oh my goodness, what has happened to that? No wonder they blocked it all off. That building's falling apart, look at it. You can actually see where the wall is coming out there. Oh my goodness. We had the same thing happen on Bond Street and that building had to be demolished, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so there you go. Another unsafe building here in Blackpool. Uh, there's no sign anywhere that says anything other than footpath closed on the other side, of course. You wouldn't want to be walking past there on the other side, would you, with that building there? With that wall sticking out like that there, look, wow. That is amazing. Anyway. Um, oh, look at this now, we can see some bright lights. That's Mark Kelly's there. All lit up here. With the LEDs. I'm just coming up to Foxhall Road now. I can hear the music in there. So we're just coming up to Foxhall Road. Well, there's loads of people on the promenade. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But this is Foxhall Road. Just down this way, we've got Philly. It's looking pretty bright round here. The new Philly Sports Bar. And this place on the corner, there's a new place coming. It's called Tommy Cutler's Bar. It says they're uh, coming mid-August. Uh, I think they're probably late. So just over here we've got Mark Kelly's of course. Doesn't need much of an introduction does it? But that's very close to the newest Mark Kelly's. Yeah, so we've got the new Mark Kelly's which has opened in the old Foxhall. And this one, well, it's barely a minute's walk away. But I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's pretty lively. This is Gaiety's. Gaiety's. Oh, there's music coming from all over the place. Now it's getting a bit lively, isn't it, folks? Yeah? So we've got the bright lights now. We've got the takeaways as well. We don't have the lifeboat in open at the moment. The lifeboat is closed, and that's a pretty popular pub. It's a karaoke bar. Check it out. The lifeboat is not open at the moment. So all the other places are, I suppose they're all making up for it with the light bulb being closed. So we're getting a little look at Blackpool, the bright lights now. It started off in a pretty quiet area actually, but now, as you can see, it's uh, looking quite lively now, isn't it? I can hear music coming from all over the place. It's just coming up to the promenade now. And as you can see, we've got pretty much standing traffic almost. Oh, look at this now, Fox. Whoa! What a difference. Look at this. Wow, see if I can make it across the road. Oh, look at this traffic here. I'm having to dodge the cars here. Look. Now then, from where I started off, just outside that club, now look at it. Oh, nice push. Look at this. Pat's 10p, bingo. Get in there. Come on, it's full up. Yeah. Pat's 10p, bingo. They're, they are doing pretty well. Oh, now then, what do you think of this? There'll always be people that say, oh, Blackpool, it's not like it used to be. Well, it never will be like that again. It'll never be like it was back in the 50s, but you have to evolve, don't you? The illuminations aren't the same as what they used to be. Of course, we've got these LEDs nowadays and they just don't seem to have that sparkle that the, that the old lights had. Now, as I come towards the central pier, this is interesting because we've got a load of cars over here. Um, as far as I know, you're not allowed to park here on the promenade, so uh, unless these 
cars hit, unless they know something I don't. Um, I don't think you're really allowed to park on here, but a lot of people do seem to park where they want these days, don't they? Oh my goodness, you want to see this? The sea. Oh, check this out, folks. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that, the tide is coming in. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's not too bad either weather-wise, you know. There's a bit of a wind, it's dry. It's not too bad. As we look towards the central pier, there's music, it's banging, there's loads of people on there. I can hear screaming. The, the pier, the central pier and the south pier have captured that atmosphere that the Pleasure Beach has lost because the Pleasure Beach will now be closed, I think. Or maybe, let's just check the time, maybe in about half an hour. I think it's about half past nine at the moment. Yeah, so the Pleasure Beach will be closing any time. But the piers, they stay open till well. Quite late, I'd say, but just look at that. Look at them waves. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Wow. And as I look this way, you can see down towards the South Pier. There you go, the South Pier's got all the, the lights on it and no doubt a lot of people possibly coming out of the Pleasure Beach might just go straight onto the South Pier <laughs> so they can get onto the ride there. What do you think? I can't believe it, it looks absolutely amazing. That, with the, the waves down there. So let me know what you think in the comments uh, about the Pleasure Beach because I know a load of people, it's uh, it's a bit of a bugbear with loads of people saying you've got to charge, charge something like £50 to get into Pleasure Beach now. So you can't just rock up into Blackpool and just go into the Pleasure Beach. You've got to think about it. If it's going to cost you 50 quid, and there's a family of you, that's a lot of money, isn't it? But you can just rock up and go on the piers, yeah? You can do that, no problem at all. You don't have to pay. If you want to go on the ride, just go on the ride. If you want to go on the big wheel, pay for the big wheel, go on it. No problem at all. The piers have taken over that atmosphere. They've taken that atmosphere that the Pleasure Beach has lost. I can hear sirens, it's kicking off in Blackpool. Now then. Oh, it's not an ambulance this time, it's a police car. Whoa! <laughs> Definitely kicking off in Blackpool now. As we are about to go past the central pier. I better go off these tram tracks just in case the tram comes along. <laughs> but I think the, the illuminations are actually looking pretty good here. I think this is where most of the money is spent on this set. Oh, look at all these people, I can't believe it. Look. Look at it, look. Look over there. It is pretty busy in Blackpool tonight. Saturday night. Last Saturday in September. Let's have a little look at the front of the Central Pier, shall we? Oh, look at all these people here. There you go. Oh. What the hell? I almost got taken out by that e-bike then. You see how fast that bike was going then? My goodness. I'll tell you what, it's not trams I need to watch out for. It's bloody idiots on e-bikes. Doing about 40 mile an hour down the tram tracks. And you can't even hear them coming. So yeah, there you go. You can just walk onto the central pier there. Anytime you want, any time of the day. You don't have to pay. And you can just go on the ride, or not, or have a go on the stalls, whatever you want. You can do it on the pier, but you can't do that at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Just look at this now, come on. Just across the road from Happy Days Amusements, I can hear Pete on the bingo. Check out Happy Days if you're coming to Blackpool. Let's go down here and check out Odyssey, shall we? So. Yeah. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just just uh, got spotted there. But I'm I'm keeping walking. I'm keeping walking. 
So this is Odyssey. They've actually put this in a different place to last time. Oh, look at this. We've got the dry ice going. Look, check it out. The kids love this. Can't hear any music at the moment, but we've got this uh, projection here going on the floor there. Look at that. That's pretty good, doesn't it? What do you reckon? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. So there you go, that's a little look at Odyssey. I can't hear the music, so maybe it's not working. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. I like the dry ass. But anyway, I just want to show you something over here because we have got... Oh, we've got the Great Western Train Sam. Come on, let's have a look at this. Here we go. This is what they all want to see. This is the tram. Here we go. Check it out. There you go. Saturday night in Blackpool. That was a bit of a bonus in the tram, wasn't it? And look at this now, we've got the main drag here. We've got, I don't think the sea life centre's open at the moment, but what was that before the sea life centre? Can anyone remember? Next door, we've got the Golden Mile, and of course, we've got Coral Island up there. It's all looking pretty colourful. I want to show you something just up here. <laughs> Well, Five Inch Bob is in good voice tonight, outside the RNLI. I'm now just opposite the Coral Island. Let's, let's have a walk through here, shall we? The, let's have a walk through the baubles. So we've got the, these have been moved as well. Keep moving stuff, don't they? There we go. Check it out. Oh, this is spiral. Well, I can hear sirens again. It's kicking off in Blackpool. It's an ambulance this time, but uh, I'm going to leave it there now. The music's getting a little bit loud coming from uh, Blackpool over at the comedy carpet. But that was a little look at Blackpool on a Saturday night. If you saw the video I did midweek on a Wednesday, it was absolutely dead. It looked, honestly, it looked like a ghost town, but I think I said in that video that it would be different on a Saturday night. And as you can see, holiday weekend as well. I think the Glasgow, Glasgow weekend possibly going to make a big difference. So that was a little look at Blackpool on a Saturday night, the last Saturday of September. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. We have travelled like the various colours, searchlights playing on the sea and sky, floodlights on buildings, all these things have turned Blackpool into an immense magic fairyland by night. Thank mm -hmm. you.